So the question that we are going to deal with is convert a binary tree to a doubly linked list. Okay. So we have a binary tree and we have to convert it into a doubly linked list. So how to do? So let's see here. So we have a binary tree here, a complete binary tree. And we see that it has seven nodes and we want to use the nodes and the pointers and manipulate them such that it can be converted into a doubly linked list. So can this happen? So something like here, this node comes here. It had two pointers, the left child and right child. So now I try to manipulate it. So we see that here each node has one right and one left. So we have to utilize these two things. So can it be done? So we see here the number of nodes are same and number of pointers. Let's see. So each node has two pointers. So it it is basically yeah, we think that it is true. So let's see. Now when you define the structure for a binary tree, you do something like struct node then you give int value some data to be stored then struct node star left the left pointer and the struct node star right the pointer to the right child similarly when i define struct node for a doubly linked list so we give it a value and we have a previous pointer which points to the element on the left here so this one and right which is this one so similarly here so this is the right and this is the left and here in the binary tree this is the left child this is the right okay so we find that okay the basic node structure is same for both of them isn't it so this is the idea we get here looks similar isn't it yes definitely it looks the same so we have a smiley okay next now the question is how to convert how to convert that's the question so we see that okay there looks to be great possibility but how to do one thing is that of course when i have to convert each node into a doubly linked list I have to traverse the tree, isn't it? I have to traverse in order to convert the nodes to a doubly linked list. So how to do? And we want that, okay, each of the two child should now become the, we should manipulate those pointers. So we see here one way to traverse is breadth first search and that's what we see here so one then two then three then four five six seven so this is one breadth this whole thing is one breadth or level so this is if level zero this is level one and the final one is level two so we see that okay one then two three from level one four five six seven from level two so we can construct a tree by traversing so first is traversing and then manipulating so we use breadth first search now so what to do so let's try to see so what we do is that of course I have to start from the root. So let's say I push the root first. Okay. So I push the root and this is a Q. So for breadth first search, we use a Q. And what we do, we push the root. So one comes here. Now what we do now we have to construct the doubly linked list. So I pop 
here one out and so now and I maintain a few pointers one is the last pointer and one is let's say the present pointer okay so these are the two pointers so what happens now I pop this one so I first inserted it pushed it now I pop the element out till the queue is not empty I will be keeping out all the values from it one by one so why pop one out these are initially all null these two but now what happens I assign so now this has to the node one it has two child left and right so I make left as null and right where should I point the right now so we see that okay let's see here the so right was pointing to 2 but we see that in the queue 2 is not there at all so what is the next hint insert it into the queue the left and the right child so let's see we try to insert now level 2 represented by a different color so 2 and 3 are inserted as level 2 and what we do we saw that okay now it needs to the right pointer is still dangling and I need to point it to the next node so what I do so there are two things in a queue so one is queue.pop which takes the element out completely and another thing is queue.front which I just am accessing it but I'm not popping it out so what I do I make queue so this was the present so present next the present right I will make it as the queue front okay so now queue front so it is now present right so now what I will do so this is the case now present is here so let it be P so it is here and the last was null so now I am done with one so now I come to and this is out so I will strike it with a red color so this is out of the queue one and two is still in but now I have to process so again I will go to the queue and I will pop out something till the queue is not empty so I pop out two from there and let's see now again so now what I do I make present as this one and last I will make what was the present previously so initially I will make last as the present so here now this one is the last and this is the present so now what we need to do I have two pointers of this node this and this so I have to somehow manipulate this so what I will do I will point left of 2 to the last element and I will point right to the Q dot front okay so Q dot front so what was it so it is basically a 3 so this is the Q dot front and it comes here so now I am done with this one so now my last pointer will become this and present will now be I will pop this out when the queue is not empty so I will present will become this and last is this now so again what will happen now so what we do is that again so this previous so node 3 is now the present node and I point its left child to the previous node last node and its next right child to the so before that what I have to do now 3 so when I was processing 2 in fact what I do is I have to process in the processing what we did at 1 was I pushed the 2 left child and the right child if they are not null so what I do I have let's represent the third or the second level by let's say blue color so I have now 4 here and 5 so with 2 they came and now 3 so 3 
the left child points to the last element and right child now points to the so right child which I had already shown the pointer so it now points to the next element which is the front of the queue 4 so 4 is now here and what happens now so my last will become the present node and present will become 4 which I pop out so I take out the 4 now 4 has no left and right are both null so I don't push anything inside so for 4 now again I put its left child as previous and next as 5 and when I had in fact when I did 3 so I will also put 6 and 7 while processing 3 so these also came when I was popping out 3 so 5 6 and 7 were the left and right child so they came here with 4 there was no left and right child so nothing came in the queue and now 4 left was to the last one which is 3 and 4 next is to 5 which is the next which is the front of the queue so 5 came here so now 4 is out so this becomes the last and 5 is there so I point the to 5 and its previous now goes to the last element and its next goes to the front of the queue which is 6 and again 5 has no left and right child so I don't push anything into the queue so 5 comes like this and next is 6 so I put 6 here I pop out 6 now so now what happens this is the last element so this left will become this and its right will now go to the front which is 7 so 7 is here so now again it has no left and right child so nothing is pushed into the queue I go to 7 now and pop out 7 and its previous goes to the last element here and its next becomes null so something like this will be done and that's the basic idea now we have to write so we have something like a few things about the code is we have a while loop while queue is not empty so this is there something like this we are then popping out so last and previous we have to manipulate so let's see the code so this is the code and let's see so we have a queue of the nodes then we push the root first that is the initialization part and then what we do nodes struct node star last is null and node star node which is the present node is null so here present is represented by node so now what we do while queue is not empty so what first I do node is equal to queue dot front and queue dot pop so here when the queue is not empty so I will pop the front element and it will be assigned to the node so this is basically our present and then what I do if node left is not null I push node left in the queue if node right is not null so I push queue node right into the queue so this is done so if we see so firstly when I inserted one and then popped it out why because the queue was not empty so I inserted its left child because it was not null and its right child because it was not null so 2 and 3 went there so now what I do is I now have to manipulate the last pointer and the present pointer or the node so node left now becomes the last and node right becomes q dot front so node right node left is null become because it was last was null and node right becomes q dot front because 2 was here in front of the q and then what we do now we when this is done so we have to also manipulate the last element now becomes the node because it is now going to the next loop so again while q is not empty so we pop out now 2 was there it is popped out and now what we do we insert its left and right child because both are not null so 4 and 5 got inserted here and what happened now its left was assigned to the last which is now 1 and its next was assigned to 3 which is the 
front element and then we again q is not empty so i pop out 3 so 3 comes here and then what i do if it's left and right child and not null so i push them into the queue so 3 left and right child was 6 and 7 i pushed them into the queue and then this went on till the doubly linked list was constructed okay so i hope you understand this video and it is quite an interesting problem convert a binary tree to a doubly linked list so if you like this video please share it among your friends and please subscribe to my youtube channel and share about my channel and videos to your friends thanks a lot